This is Ashley. She is 18 years old. <laughs> Just do it, bro. This is Gavin. He's also 18. No Facebook, please. <laughs> Our wedding is less than one month away. Gavin's my best friend, so why would I wait to marry him? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> my partner in crime can't be tied down. Shut the f and listen. <laughs> I'm obnoxious, and I always get what I want. We're having a ceremony inside. No, I'm not. People, People think, think we're too young, young to get, get married, married, but we, we don't care. care. <laughs> When people tell me we're too young to get married, I just tell them to suck it, get over it. I know that we will be the couple that lasts forever, and I'll just say, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> we originally met, we was in our English class of senior year. Everyone thought I was a new kid, and he had just transferred there, and he was talking about something stupid. I was actually talking about getting a shot in the butt at the time, because otherwise I couldn't attend school. You don't get your tetanus shot in your butt, you get it in your arm. And then from there, we just sat together, and we cheated on tests, and became best friends from there. He got friend zoned after like three weeks. Yes. <laughs> and every guy I know what friend zone means. That means no chance. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't my typical type of guy, so I was like, oh, whatever. He'll just be the best friend. Like how people have gay best friends. That was Gavin. So. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was stuck in friend zone for almost eight months. So. I think the moment I didn't show up in a tux at prom night, I broke out of it. I a nice, pretty red dress, had my hair done, and he shows up in jeans and t-shirt. And I was like, all right, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> How I proposed, it took a lot of thought and effort, but I, <laughs> I actually got those little glow-in-the-dark stars that you hang up on your wall, and I put them on the ceiling right above the bed, and I put, will you marry me? So that way, whenever she lay down, she would look at them. I kind of blew it off for a second, and I was like, wait, you're serious, aren't you? And I freaked out and started crying and got really excited. I don't know why she thought it was a joke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now you may go. Mm -hmm. I told my family we was getting married. They did not react with the support I thought they would. My yeah. uncle thought I was making a huge mistake, which I respect that, but I don't... Agree. Yeah, I don't agree. Gavin's dad has never been in the picture. That makes me <laughs> look after him more than just as an uncle. I really care about him. Well, when I found out Gavin was engaged, I was kind of surprised. That's just the way teenagers are nowadays. I mean, everything's got to be in a hurry. I think that if Gavin and Ashley think it's all going to be sugar and spice and everything's nice, they're in for a big downfall. <laughs> My mom is very opinionated about the wedding. I think that Ashley is young to get married, but she's a legal adult. I can't stop it. It was sad. She's my youngest daughter, my baby girl. Can ice cream sounds delicious. Well, let's get some ice cream. Please don't hit the trash can. Yeah, I'm not going to. I really think that getting married now it wouldn't make much of a difference from getting married 10 years from now, because I love her. Marriage is the only way to go. I love Gavin, and I don't know how to express how much I love him. It's like marrying your best friend. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chocolate's nasty. Yeah. I just can't get this on. Today we are ice skating and we brought with us the whole wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! What? Yeah. Dave is her little brother. Our relationship is, yeah, we're like considered boyfriends by everybody else. The first thing that I saw when I got here was you two looking like you were about to make out and giggling like a bunch it's of little girls. wouldn't get off of me. So. <laughs> <laughs> hit me, so. Okay, well, what's the next thing? Are you both gonna get G-strings for each other or what? How'd you find out? <laughs> so who's the growing relationship? That guy. Well, that girl. <laughs> uh, little brother and Gavin. It's a little much. Hold your hand. Yes, I do. Woo! Look at them. I think Dave and Gavin's bromance is really cute, especially trying to teach Gavin how to skate. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I love the relationship I have with Gavin because he's funny, me and him get along well, and it's scary how much we're alike. If we're alone, we can do anything and not get judged because we're so alike. When it's harmful to the <laughs> This is what true friends are for. No! <laughs> Did he shoot you? <laughs> <laughs> we 
we are not going to move back in with our parents. <laughs> that is a no. We ended up in our apartment because me and Gavin had a little breakup. But he decided to sign a lease without telling me. And he pulled the, well, I don't want to live there unless you live there with me. So... Kind of talked about it and I moved in with him and Dave was always at our house anyway. So we're like, well, it's easier to have Dave here. So Dave moved in. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, oh my God. I definitely lean on Dave more than I do anybody else because he's the one person that I can actually just let out everything like and not get judged as a guy, you know? You can so. be like in a different room and you just be real quiet and you can hear hee hee hee. <laughs> just those two just giggling on the couch together like little teenage girls. <laughs> oh, I'm cuddling on the couch again. Don't judge us. <laughs> you should have been born a woman. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to marry those eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, don't eat my hand! <laughs> I'm going to college full-time as a student, and I'm also working at a women's clothing store. Look at him, being all sassy. I go to school full-time, and I work at a burger joint. In the future, I see myself becoming, um... That'd be his mouth. <laughs> I don't know exactly. I just plan on living comfortably. I really want Ashley to get to know my Uncle Robert. She thinks that they don't like her. I met Uncle Robert like twice, and we have a lot of different views, so it's a little awkward. Them two actually getting to talk one-on-one, -on -one, I think that'd be good for them. So we're spending some time with him tonight. Win. I'm winning. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that don't work. <laughs> you OK? Yeah, it's a little cold and my knee hurts. <laughs> I think I need to spend time with Ashley just to find out if she's as nice as she pretends to be or is there are some claws back there that ain't coming out yet. What are you planning on doing, Ashley? I'm going to be an FBI agent profiler. When I finish all my schooling, I would love to be an FBI profiler. I want to work in the homicide department, and I just want to make sure all justice is done. Yeah, Ashley, let's <laughs> see your arrest. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Turn around, Come at me, bro. Turn around, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you're under arrest. You have the right to your attorney. <laughs> uh, y'all actually think y'all are too young to get married? Nope. You don't? Age is just a number. It is? Yeah. It's going to be a long road. We know. He's very diligent, like trying to force it on you. We kind of differ there. We have a lot of different views, so it's a little awkward. See, right now it's school, and you got everything right there going for you right now. But somewhere down the line, something's going to come unwound. And that's what's going to test you. If she ain't real sure of you, there's going to be doubt coming in there. Well, I wonder if he's messing around on me or something like that. And that right there is the biggest thing it'll get you. Because if you can't trust each other, you might as well not even start. Spending time with Ashley, it gave me a little bit of time to get to know her. She's kind of quiet. She don't jump right out at you or anything. I don't know if Gavin's right for her or not. I really do think he's looking out for us. He has my best interests at heart, and he always has. I don't care about anyone else's opinion. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think we should have hamburgers for the wedding. The hardest part about the wedding process has been Gavin. This is his first wedding he's ever gone to. This will be my first actual, like, read out your vows weddings. So what do people actually eat at weddings? Um, a lot of people do like fried chicken and salad and I don't know, like weird nasty food that I won't eat. <laughs> fried chicken at a wedding. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Why do you get your dress all greasy? <laughs> right. We didn't really set a budget for our wedding because we didn't know how expensive the little things were going to be. Um, we did not think we were going to spend like $1,000 or more. <laughs> for real. <laughs> They're crazy expensive. What do you suggest? Something tiny. I like fast food. OK, like a uh, cheeseburger? Like chicken nuggets and french fries. But I'd rather have a cheeseburger. Can we do like midget cheeseburgers? Like how big do you suggest? Hold on. Like that diameter. A little bigger. Compromise? There we go. OK. Well, I'm going to take a bite. You go right ahead. <laughs> <That Yeah. laughs> Ew. <laughs> Nasty. Thank you spit on me a little bit. <laughs> What's up, dude? 
What's up, Bray? Today I'm meeting with my sister. My sister said she really wanted to talk to me, so I told her to meet me after class. I got you coffee. Yay. Heather is my older sister. She is my best friend and also my maid of honor. We have done everything together. She's obnoxious, she's ridiculous, and she's my better half. I don't hide any of my feelings from Ashley. I'm blunt with her. So I just want to make sure that you're not getting married too early because you can't even like drink in a legal place yet. And, like, my partner in crime can't be tied down. I want to still have fun with you. I did not think Ashley would get married this young. She's always had big plans for herself and only herself. I would love to see you carry out and fulfill the dreams that you have for yourself. That's so important to me because you're always trying to be the biggest <laughs> forever. Even like when we were little, you were like, I'm gonna swing the highest and I'm cooler than you. Like, I wanna say that I could see Ashley and Gavin being together for the long haul, but I just, they're, they're such an odd couple. I'm like not that much older than you and I can't see myself getting married. So you just gotta sell it to me, dude. Look, here's my point of view. Shut the up and listen. Honestly, you know the dating game sucks. Do you really want to have to deal with like, <laughs> hey, let's go to coffee, but I'm gonna blow you off in 10 minutes and not tell you, and then date your best friend. Like, no, that's stupid. And it's much better to go home to somebody every night and be comfortable. Like, he supports me emotionally, physically, mentally. Everything I need, Gavin has for me. No doubts at all. No. 100% absolutely positive that when you walk down that aisle, you're not gonna look at him and be like, oh, Heather does think I'm too young to get married, but I don't give two sh as long as you have it all hammered out, dude. Yeah, we gotta figure it out. Today we're gonna go lock down wedding attire because it is stressing me out. Aw, that is so cute. Dancing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll stick you in one of those and you in pink. And have the boys match? Yeah, pink. pink. Uh, I was dragged along for this. <laughs> I have to come and pick out my own vest. What about the pink? No. What about the pink? No. What about the pink? Ashley can be a little pussy. <laughs> I want to be the standout, but I want to look good. I like lime green. Can I have no. it? No. I think green is ridiculous to be a part of the wedding, but if Gavin can find a magical way to persuade me, why not? Let me see what it looks like. Watch this. Mm -hmm. I will rock this. I would definitely love to be dressed in green. It's my favorite color, and I'm going to see if I can push that. I hate this. I just don't like this many colors. Green is terrible. I think it's ugly, and I don't think it should be a part of our wedding at all. I would love for the groomsmen to be wearing the same color pink as the bridesmaids' dresses. Please, Gavin. Oh, no, no, Please. No. OK, why don't you like the pink? It looks really good. It looks feminine, too girly. I don't want to be up on stage and people going, oh, there's the bride. OK, guys, seriously, I'm kind of digging the camo. I like the camo. And the camo dress, come on, it's, it's awesome. Come on, come on. I would wear it. Yeah, see? You're, you're welcome to marry Josh and Camo if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> How about if he just wears it right now, he can have the green? Deal. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Give me this. <laughs> I guess he really yeah, wears I'm going to need help now. I am very willing to wear the camouflage dress if she's willing to give me the green vest. If Gavin will wear that camouflage dress, he can have any green vest that he wants. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do a little catwalk for us. Oh, girl, I stunned it. <laughs> I look good in that camouflage dress. <laughs> and you got the dress for it, too. I Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin is a beautiful little diva. Uh, this is going on Facebook cool. and Twitter. No Facebook, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. I'm really glad I got the green vest. I am excited. Like, <laughs> you don't even know. Freedom. <laughs> Oh, I do rock this dress, though. <laughs> That's my future husband, yep. <laughs> I do not regret bringing the boys, especially since I got Gavin in a dress, so. <laughs> Today, me, Mom, Heather, and Gavin are meeting with our decorator and the photographer to see what we're doing with the wedding venue. So you guys want to go outside and see what the ceremony is going to be like? No, we're having the ceremony inside. No, we're not. We're having the ceremony outside and the reception inside. Are you serious? It is freezing outside. I'm dead serious. When I said it was outside for the wedding, everyone kind of freaked out because they figured the ceremony is going to be cold, but I don't really care. So the sun's out and the snot is already freezing on my face. Are you sure you want to have this wedding outside? I yeah. mean, there's perfect inside right there. I don't want to go inside. There's not good lighting inside. There's not a runway for me to use inside. Inside just won't work. It'd be better outside. 
Cool. I can stick hand warmers in my bra or something. Like, I'll keep cozy. Just making stuff up. Just It'll really <laughs> work. I like things to be my way. I don't care about anyone else's opinion. Saturday, ooh, a low of 32. 10% chance of rain. If it rains, we're still doing it outside. I don't no. want an inside wedding. Ashley's crazy for wanting to have a cold, crazy, dark wedding. Everyone has opinion to the wedding, but what actually happens, I have the final say in. What are you gonna tell your pissed off wedding guests when they're out here freezing and then they don't give you a wedding gift because I'm mad at you? I've already told them everyone that comes to pretty much know it's not inside because I've made it clear this whole time. Wilkie, are you okay with that? It doesn't matter if I'm okay with it. Princess is gonna have her wedding however she wants it. It's going to be cold or outside, but I'd rather be cold and hear Ashley complain about her wedding that she hates. It'll be inside. Anyone that thinks I'm crazy for getting married outside can suck it. Do not deny me. Backing up. So we are combining our bachelor and bachelorette party so we can both hang out with each other's family and friends and get to know them. But I think it'll be really fun because we've booked a hypnotist. You feel so good. You feel so relaxed. You are the world's best Michael Jackson impersonator. <laughs> One, two, three. I don't know. <laughs> Sleep down, sleep down, you figure out. Josh was hilarious. <laughs> and he makes a great Michael Jackson. <laughs> Count of three, you're gonna open your eyes. I got the biggest rip on the back of my pants. It's gonna be the most hilarious thing you've ever seen. When I turn around, you're not gonna hold back your laughter, but you're gonna freak out because my big 18 inches is hanging out. <laughs> it's just weird, awkward, and I don't really care. Now one, two, Three, open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes. So anyway, guys, what I'm telling you, my butt itches. I don't know, something going on behind me. There's something happening behind me. What is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the out of my house. What? Get out. What? Leave now. What, what did I do? I'll show you. Get out of my house. Get out. But, Get out. but I was just. It was awesome having the hypnotist. I love seeing mom. <laughs> she was awesome. She was definitely the life of the party. I loved it. <laughs> okay, so we don't want any down on this side, right? Mm -hmm. It's the morning of the wedding, and I'm really excited to get married, and I can't wait for the ceremony. And you will say, I do. And then he will put the ring on your finger, and then we repeat it. Or he better? Yeah, he better. <laughs> OK. For them to ask me to officiate their wedding and marry him, it's the biggest honor I could have. Does it feel straight? Yeah, it feels perfect. It feels tight. Yeah. Gavin is probably at home freaking out right now, getting ready for the wedding. I just hope he's OK. Jump on it. My nerves are running haywire. I'm nervous. Her walking down the aisle, me crying, fainting. I now need me tie. I could really use a drink right now, but grape juice is all I have. <laughs> How bad I'm feeling with nerves, I think it's 10 times worse over there. Like, to get her in that dress, I bet it's going to be a task. Going up, because it has to be on my waist. There goes my panties. My ceremony outfit is a massive, poofy white dress. I have thigh-high stiletto boots. White wedding shoes wouldn't have gone with this obnoxious dress, so I needed a bit of <laughs> obnoxious boots. You're lucky it's warm out there. You don't have to put those hand warmers in your tauntauns today. <laughs> The weather's gorgeous. I got really lucky, so I'm hoping it'll stay this way for the ceremony. This is one hell of a mission. Baby, here we go. Marriage in general is not a little thing to think of. It's a very sacred thing. I think she's the one for me, so. I love Gavin, and I don't know how to express how much I love him. If you can't express how much you love someone, that should be a big hint. Okay, welcome everybody to witness Ashley and Gavin. We thank everybody that made this long journey out here to be here for the pledges they will make to each other. Gavin, I promise to be corny every chance that I get, and I promise to learn how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so incredibly proud to call you my husband. Ashley, I can't help but to think of the first day we started talking over getting a shot in the butt. <laughs> I must put your needs and you above anybody else. The rest of our lives together will be amazing. 
You're now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> okay, you win. <laughs> I feel awesome that we're married. It feels so good. I'm so glad the nerves are gone and over with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bet you didn't see this one coming. <laughs> it feels great. It really does. Seeing her come down the aisle looking like that, it was... I was very proud, but it broke my heart. <laughs> they might make it. I don't know. If he steps in a pile of he's going to have to live with the smell. I'm ready yeah. to start on my journey as a married couple, even as a teenager. It's going to be a long one. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs>